microwave assisted extraction would be explaining need principle and instrumentation in this video overview of extraction methods extraction is essential for isolating bioactive compounds from plants and other sources conventional methods like sockslet extraction maceration and hydrodistillation are widely used but come with drawbacks like long extraction times high solvent use and thermal degradation of compounds. Modern methods such as supercritical fluid extraction, SFE, ultrasound assisted extraction, UAE, and microwave assisted extraction, MAE, offer alternatives with higher efficiency, shorter extraction times, and are more eco friendly. Introduction to microwave assisted extraction. Microwave-assisted extraction uses microwave energy to heat solvents and plant matrices, accelerating the extraction of bioactive compounds. It operates on the principle of selective heating, where polar solvents absorb microwave energy, rapidly heating and breaking down plant cells to release compounds. Microwave-assisted extraction is recognized for its ability to reduce extraction time, decrease solvent use, and preserve heat-sensitive compounds. This environmentally friendly technique has gained popularity in the pharmaceutical, food, and cosmetic industries. Microwave Energy Mechanism Microwaves are non-ionizing electromagnetic waves between 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz, generating heat by exciting polar molecules, such as water, within the plant matrix. This excitation causes rapid movement and friction at the molecular level, leading to efficient internal heating. Unlike conventional methods that rely on external heat sources, MAE heats the entire sample volume uniformly, reducing energy loss and speeding up extraction times. This mechanism allows for the targeted release of bioactive compounds with minimal degradation. How Microwaves Heat Materials the unique aspect of microwave heating is its interaction with polar molecules. In MAE, microwaves penetrate the plant matrix, causing polar molecules, water or solvent, to rotate and generate heat through dipole rotation and ionic conduction. This internal heating causes cell wall rupture, releasing bioactive compounds into the solvent. The efficiency of microwave heating depends on the dielectric properties of the solvent and plant material. With higher polar solvents absorbing more energy and facilitating faster extractions, extraction mechanism includes ionic conduction and dipole rotation. Microwave-assisted extraction utilizes two primary mechanisms for heating, ionic conduction and dipole rotation. Ionic conduction involves the movement of ions under an electric field, generating friction and heat, while dipole rotation occurs when polar molecules, such as water, attempt to align with the oscillating microwave field, causing rapid molecular motion. Both processes work together to uniformly heat the plant material, leading to efficient extraction of bioactive compounds from the cellular matrix. The MAE process involves several stages, solvent diffusion into the plant matrix, solubilization of bioactive compounds, and transportation of these compounds from the matrix into the solvent. The microwave energy accelerates solvent penetration and cell wall disruption, allowing quicker solubilization of compounds. This is followed by rapid desorption of compounds into the solvent. The entire process is controlled by parameters like microwave power, extraction time, and solvent type, ensuring maximum extraction yield. Dielectric Properties of Solvents The efficiency of MAE is highly dependent on the dielectric properties of the solvents used. Solvents with high dielectric constants, such as water or ethanol, absorb microwave energy more effectively, generating heat rapidly within the plant matrix. This enhances the penetration of the solvent, improving extraction efficiency. Nonpolar solvents like hexane are poor absorbers of microwaves and often require additives, like ethanol, to improve heating. 
Solvent selection plays a critical role in optimizing MAE efficiency. Compared to conventional methods like Sockschlit extraction, MAE is much faster and requires less solvent. For example, MAE reduces extraction time from hours to minutes, minimizes solvent waste, and operates at lower temperatures, preserving heat-sensitive compounds. The heating is volumetric, meaning the entire sample is heated evenly, unlike conventional methods that rely on conduction. This results in higher yields and better reproducibility, making MAE more efficient for extracting secondary metabolites. Instrumentation and Equipment Setup Overview of MAE Equipment Open versus Closed Systems MAE systems can be classified into open and closed systems. Open systems, like household microwave ovens adapted for laboratory use, provide low-pressure environments and are more cost-effective but lack precise control over parameters like temperature and pressure. Closed systems, on the other hand, allow for controlled pressure and temperature, improving extraction efficiency. These systems use vessels that withstand high pressure, which is essential for extracting thermolabel or volatile compounds without degradation. Open system in microwave-assisted extraction. In an open MAE system, the sample is heated by microwave energy in a container that is open to the atmosphere. This type is typically used for non-volatile compounds and often operates at lower pressures. Characteristics are pressure control, operates at atmospheric pressure, gases and vapors can freely escape, temperature control, limited to the boiling point of the solvent at atmospheric pressure, which may limit extraction efficiency, safety, lower risk of pressure buildup, making it safer for certain materials, efficiency, Extraction efficiency may be lower than in closed systems due to limited temperature and pressure control. Best uses. Open systems are suited for extracting non-volatile compounds from materials where high pressures are not necessary or safe. Closed system in microwave-assisted extraction. In a closed MAE system, the container is sealed, allowing microwave energy to heat the sample and solvent in a pressurized environment. This setup can handle higher temperatures, enhancing extraction efficiency, especially for volatile or thermally sensitive compounds. Characteristics Pressure control Operates under controlled pressure, allowing extraction at temperatures above the solvent's boiling point. Temperature control Higher temperatures can be achieved, resulting in faster and more efficient extraction. Safety requires careful pressure management due to the risk of overpressurization, often needing specialized equipment and monitoring. Efficiency, generally higher extraction efficiency because the higher pressure and temperature enable better solubility and faster diffusion of compounds. Best uses, closed systems are ideal for applications requiring high temperatures and pressures, such as the extraction of volatile or heat-sensitive compounds, essential oils, and compounds in low-abundance matrices. Types of microwave-assisted extractors Commercially available MAE systems are designed for specific extraction needs. These devices offer automated control of temperature, pressure, and microwave power, ensuring reproducible results. For instance, closed vessel systems operate under controlled conditions, ideal for volatile compounds, while solvent-free microwave-assisted extraction uses dry extraction, ideal for essential oils. These systems can be integrated with sensors for precise monitoring and optimization of the extraction process. Instrument setup and safety features. Modern MAE equipment incorporates safety features such as temperature and pressure sensors, explosion-proof chambers, and automatic shutoff systems to prevent accidents. High-pressure vessels are designed to handle superheated solvents, ensuring safe operation during extraction. 
solvent recovery systems help minimize environmental impact by recycling used solvents. Temperature control is vital to avoid thermal degradation of heat-sensitive compounds, making the equipment versatile for various plant matrices and bioactive compounds. Thank you for your valuable time. Keep watching the rest of the sections.